Yeah, yeah just pull. Oh. Oh, oh wow, it actually turned out so oh nice. My. Today's video is sponsored by Ironside. For more details about a giveaway to win your own computer, wait until the end of this video. Hey Grains, and welcome to trying another resin video. Sika and I have been having so much fun trying resin type crafts. Just because you can do so many things with resin, so I think it's pretty adventurous of us. Pretty adventurous. Pretty adventurous. I'll say, hang on. I have an adventure hat, and here you go, an adventure hat for you. We are adventurous. <laughs> resin adventures. More specifically, we want to make resin pyramids. And recently, resin pyramids have been really popular online, not to mention they've been selling them a little bit of everywhere from Wish to Etsy and even ads on Instagram. So we gonna try that. We gonna try it. And hopefully we don't massacre them. <laughs> yeah. And luckily, Sophie and Toffee sent over these molds here. They look pretty cool, and they're basically the same thing as what I've seen online. I think they're just a little bit smaller. Probably. But it's a good start for us. Yeah, let's not start too big. We're gonna get too ahead of ourselves. Mm hmm And then what happens? We f*** up. Oh, whoa! And we break hearts. Uh, yeah. Your heart. My heart? Mm, your heart usually breaks first. I'm very sensitive. You're very sensitive. I'm very sensitive. It's okay. My hands are cool, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the four pyramids that you do see are going to be each with the elements. We're going to do earth, fire, wind, and water. But we have a little twist, which is the theme of Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. Pokemon. The reason I'm making a Pokemon themed one is because Ironside sent me the most gorgeous computer ever. It is a Bulbasaur salty steampunk computer that is not just absolutely beautiful to look at, it is great for gaming, but also it's made editing and rendering videos so much easier. So for those of you greens who are also interested in getting your own either custom computer or a computer that is super functional to help you with the flow of your work. I I can definitely recommend Ironside. Holy carp, look at this beautiful piece of machine. Here's just a little preview of me unboxing it. And the full video of me unboxing will also be at the end of this video. And if you like resin type videos, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, we will intensely wave sharp pointy things at you. Look at this. Don't make it get more intense. It's gonna be ben very intense. Whoa. I can't even talk about that's, 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 that's how intense it is. <laughs> Click on all notifications while you're there. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up the inspiration picture. Right there. As you can see, the design here is absolutely gorgeous because on top, what do we see? We got a planet. Mm-hmm. Super pretty. Yes. So that's basically going to be the base for each and every one of our elementals. And we're going to start with Earth. You sounded very enthusiastic Earth. about Earth. Earth. When it comes to <laughs> Earth, Sika's absolutely <laughs> obsessed with resin pieces and making everything with flowers and barks, as you can see in previous videos. Again, if you're interested in watching any of these resin videos, I'll leave a playlist link down below. So the first thing we want to try is actually making a colored planet. What, you okay? You're like, yeah, you're like yeah, shaking. because I want to make the planet, and I think we're well, we're, we're starting with Earth. So I think we're gonna go with green and browns, right? Yes. So for this project, we do have spheres. Again, these molds, all of my molds, I love them. So Sophie and Toffee, thank you for constantly supplying me. Not sponsored. But as you can see here, we do get three sizes. We have the little one, the medium one, and the chunk. The chunk? The chunk. <laughs> we get a chunk we one. We get a chunk. It's what? too chunk for what we need. Yeah, since we did mini tests before we started, because sometimes it's okay to be prepared just to have an idea. Just to have an idea. But then the rest of the video is just chaos because we have no idea what we're doing. So we need some structure. Yeah, we need some structure. <laughs> so here we have a small sphere and here we have the medium one. Now we wanted to see which one would be best in the mold. So we're like, oh, probably the little one. But and then we're like, oh, too little. Yeah, it's really really tiny too little it's just barely here and then the big one just no, it's yeah. medium oh i mean medium it's not the chunk not the chunk the medium one this one here seems just about right for what we want to do so our weapon of choice for coloring the uv resin by the way for those of you who don't know resin is a liquidy substance you have two different kinds you have the epoxy resin where you mix part a and part b or you have root you are done were you no i was, I not was gonna interrupt you i you always do i have to it's my job as a little sister. True. And then after you mix part A and part B, they harden and they become a plasticky type glass. Well, not quite glass, but kind of plasticky. Or we also have UV resin, which is basically just one piece that you're putting in and then you put a light over it and it hardens. And if you don't have a light, you could just put it in direct sunlight and it'll and take, harden. yeah. But like, cause you want it to be automatic hardening. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. You okay, honey? Mm -hmm. Come here, honey. It's okay. Talking is hard today, isn't mm -hmm. it? <laughs> 
So we have our two different mica powders. For the brown, we're going to go with a copper because we want our planet to be both green and brown. That's, I think, the most earthy copper colors you can think of. I think so. So, Sika, do you want to use the brown? Or sure, red? I'll take the brown. Okay, that was easy. Am I supposed to give you a hard time? You always do. Maybe later. Okay. Okay. I'll brace, brace yourself exactly. <laughs> All right, so first things first, about 2.5. We have no idea what the actual capacity of the sphere is, the medium one. So we're just going to go ahead and do 2.5 of each. So squish. I think it might actually take less than that. Probably. There you go. How much did you put? I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, let's do 2.5. It's not bad. How much mic are you putting? Uh, just a toothpick full. So a little goes a long way. So I'm going to put about... Oh, oh, oh. Your felt! My felt! You didn't even get me in the- Oh, Felt, I tried to take care of you, but I was the first one to betray you. Just know that it was not on purpose. You felt. I felt. <laughs> so basically what I was trying to do is this. Voila. That it? Yeah. We might need a little bit more depending, but should be good enough. Can I go ahead and do that? Yeah, go ahead. And let's see what your copper looks like. So here's my green, absolutely gorgeous swirls. Look at oh, these that pretty is swirls. Gorgeous. Absolutely. Okay, you ready? Yeah. We're gonna pour it together. Oh no. Well, not at the same time though, okay? okay. Brace yourself. We're okay. gonna take turns. Okay, so me first, like so. All right, your turn. Sika, you got this. No, I if don't. If I can I do it. No, it's chunky. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I can't stop. That's okay. <laughs> you okay now? Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna need you to just hold it slightly slanted this way. Okay, you got this? No. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> and down here. Your turn? Okay. Okay. You're getting more slanted. That's okay. That's it. See, you got this. I'm gonna slant more, okay? Stop two seconds. I can't stop! Oh no! <laughs> so here is our resin filled up to the top. My biggest worry, because it's UV resin, it technically needs to be clear, but this is not clear. So it might not harden? It might not harden. Oh we're, no. We're gonna have to figure this out. Oh, oh. Figure, figure it out. out. Mm, 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 mm. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. Figure it out. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here's our UV light. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We're gonna do one minute on each side and then see how that works. Light is on and we just sit and wait. And the other side and under. All right, so are you ready? I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I'm really oh. hoping that we're getting some nice swirls. If it's not what we like, then we're just going to have to end up actually hardening each layer separately. So I think it is definitely nicely... Ooh, rounded. Oh. We actually got an ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> it's a lot of ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. There's a lot of green on the top. Yeah, so it didn't really swirl as much as we wanted it to, but it still looks nice. It looks like a marble. It does. And I feel like this kind of looks like wood, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks cool. Do you want to try the other technique where we layer harden, layer harden? Yeah, it's the technique I thought we were actually going to do. Yeah, okay, so let's do that and see which one is the best and then we'll adopt that technique for the rest okay 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 and by the way for those of you who love elements let us know what colors you would have done an earthy one maybe your colors are different than ours i can only think of green and brown well i mean when you look at earth from far it looks green and blue but i don't want to put blue in there yeah because we're gonna get to water later exactly all right so i tilted the mold just a little bit as sika's going in let that sit and here it is and now for a layer of green so we're gonna just alternate one after the other and then see how that looks. Sika, light. So here is our dome with all the layers actually controlled. So now I'm curious if the control versus non is going to be nicer. Oh. Oh, kind of. It's bleeding into each oh. other, but not. It's weird. Like this part is definitely massacred. So I'm not crazy about this side. No, I think I like the other one better. It's more earthy. This I is too controlled. Yeah, so I think we're gonna make sure that this side is towards the front. This one's kind of nice though, down here. Yeah, because it like bled into each other. Mm -hmm. Interestingly. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't They're know. Both so hard to choose. They're both interesting in their own ways. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comment section below, which one would you have chosen? This Left one or, right? or that one? So, Control versus non-controlled. Kind of like the non-controlled better. I think we're gonna go with this one. All right. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Now that we have our planets set, I think the first Pokemon that I thought about when I thought Earthy came to mind for me was Onyx, which is that snaky looking thing. Rocky thing. As you can see here on the screen, as I'm making them, since this is not a tutorial, these guys have to be smaller than one inch. For those of you who are not in the US, here's how many it is in centimeters. But I have to say it was quite challenging 
imagine going back to sculpting miniatures as I used to because the detail work is quite a bit. So here's our absolutely adorable tiny onyx. Oh my god, I love him so much. I can't believe you did all that with clay. You didn't even use paint, did you? No, not a single bit of paint. It's crazy. I was stubborn. I got lazy. I was like, I don't want to go pick up the paint. All right, so now for the interesting part, we're going to have onyx face the front, kind of like this. But we have the planet kind of in the way, so we'll put the planet like so. So I'm going to put onyx right here and glue him with UV resin. All right, so now it's going to be time to put in our little onyx and I want him like so, but I want him to face forward. So I think I'm gonna just put a little bit on his head. On his little crest? Yeah, on the little crest, like so. I want him to face this way. All right, shine oh, me up. Please stay, buddy. Please stay, we're both using all our hands to make sure that you stay. I mean, in theory, that should be enough, I'm letting go. <gasps> he stayed? Yeah, he stayed. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Do you want to secure him? Yes, obviously okay. I will. So now that Onyx is nicely in there, and I'm hoping that the planet will not float, we're actually mixing our resin. This one is a 3 to 1 ratio, also by Sophie and Toffee. And this resin is supposed to avoid as many bubbles as possible. It just takes a long time to harden. So we're just going to fill it up, not all the way, because we want part of Onyx to be in the environment that we're going to create under it. And now we're going to wait for about 12 hours. Hours. Onyx kept tilting backwards, so I kind of made a little makeshift thing to keep him from sliding. And then he stayed. He stayed. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> so our next element is... Fire! For this one, I really wanted to make a black and red type planet. So we're going to be using this red mica powder and our Perlex powder, which is called Carbon Black. Carbon Black. So we went ahead and mixed our UV resin with the with the powders and just look how delicious. No, not delicious because no, they're not edible. No, why would they you look do that? Beautiful. Beautiful. I did because I was eating, but what I meant beautiful. to do is. <laughs> I was like, you're, you're confusing me right now. I know. I just I, I like to call supplies delicious, but they're not delicious. They're not edible. Don't eat them. They're beautiful. They're just pretty. So for this one, we're going to also be pouring it, but this time I'm going to try a little bit of a different technique, but to kind of still get the same type of swirly effect. So let's see what kind of result we're going to get from the swirly technique. Oh, I it think was, it's going to look cool. It's our technique. Oh, oh my God. So here's what it looks like. Oh, I really love this side. Looks like we got a little bit of uh, too much black color going in one area there, yeah. but the rest of it looks really awesome. Yeah, I really love this side over here, but it's definitely a cool technique. Maybe what I'm going to have to do next time is instead of staying in one place, I'll have to rotate my hand as you're rotating. Oh, that could work. In the opposite, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. So now for this Pokemon, the first one that came to my mind is Torchic. I mean, come on, I love burbs. So I figured I needed to make a burb Pokemon, and Torchic is just absolutely so adorable. So adorable. So tiny! So cute! So tiny! That was, it took you a while to make this one too. Yeah, I think that one took me about 40-ish minutes. I think it took longer. Mm, 55? <laughs> Since Torchic is absolutely tiny, and I don't want him to be st sticking basically to the planet. Yeah, because also he'll be kind of floating weird. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to glue Torchic's butt to a toothpick with UV resin, and then have that dangle from toothpicks in the same way that I did the sling for Onyx. So that way at least we know up until where <laughs> we need to fill it. Let's resin his butt. Let's resin his butt. Watch your fingers, please. Just a very tiny bit. I'm trying. Gentle. There you go. All right, hook me up. Poor Torchic. We've taken the expression has a stick up his literally here. <laughs> and here's her Torchic on a stick. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and here you go, little buddy. <laughs> we're going to do this one a little differently because now we're starting to suspect the reason maybe the one that Sika made was floating. Because I had a dome full of air in it. So it was just like, whoop. Yeah. So maybe, maybe. Maybe resin doesn't float in resin. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it was the air pocket floating in the resin. <laughs> So we gonna test it? We gonna test it. We're gonna put With every single pyramid, we test in something different. Yes, so we're gonna do this first. And we're gonna drop our planet. Make sure there's no hair on it, please. There's no hair. Okay, drop that. Drop it in there. Ooh. Okay, it's going down. Sink. It is sinking, but there was an air pocket I saw at the bottom. Yeah, I see it. Okay, so let's just, am I getting it? I can't see your hands in the way. Did I get it? No, you didn't. Okay, take a toothpick and get it. Hurry. Dang it! Oh! Dang it! I'm trying! There you go. Okay, we good? I think so. Once we got the planet exactly where we wanted it, we went ahead and placed little Torchic and then added the rest of the resin. 
So we're basically doing the exact same process, but this time we're going with air. So while Sika is prepping our resin, I need to explain why we're going with purple. The reason for that is because when you look at elementals online, wind is always symbolized with purple. And even though part of me, the one who loves Avatar The Last Airbender, was thinking oranges and yellows, I figured we'd stick to the actual elemental colors and go with the purples. So the process is the same. Sika, you're so busy. She's prepping the resin and we're gonna go with gold and no, I don't want it. <laughs> I was like, I'm uncomfortable. Nab you. Nab you. So we're also going to use the swirling technique, except this time is going to be two swirls. You can tell Sika's excited because she won't sit down. No. No, okay, you ready? Yes. This is already really pretty. Yes. If that's the angle I'm gonna use, maybe. All right, ooh. You got it? There we go. Oh, I really love this angle yeah, here. Yeah, this looks really nice. Yeah, I love this angle. This is very purpley. And that's very gold. Yeah, and when we have something right in the middle. Oh my that's god. That's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. We're using that side, aren't we? Obviously. Okay. <laughs> and basically for this Pokemon, it was a little bit more challenging because I had to look for something that considered wind, but at the same time matched with the idea of purples. So as you can see here, Sika recommended... Weezing. Or is it, is it coughing or wheezing? Wheezing. <laughs> coughing is the one. Okay. And I definitely could have put some more paint, but I again went with full clay only. Because you're hard-headed. I'm very hard-headed. And this one took me an hour and a half. He's really pretty. He's, he's pretty. <laughs> so similarly to the other process, now that we know that the resin doesn't float, it was just Sika's belief. It was my fault. It was your fault. I'm sorry. It's okay. I messed up. It's okay. I'm We're messed up. Which, oh. I done messed no, up. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are pouring the 3 to 1 epoxy resin, our planets in there, and we're doing the same sling type mechanism for wheezing because we don't want them to miss their spot. We're keeping them in place. And last but not least, our last element is going to be water. So for this one, Sika and I debated a lot about which color we should have the planet and we go for blue and white or dark blue and light blue. And we ended up with light blue and dark blue. So we basically did the exact same thing. Let's see what it looks like. And the moment of truth of our next... Oh, I feel like we're always saying oh for Ooh. these things. Ooh. It's not as crazy colored, but it's, but it's still really nice. pretty. Yeah, I really love the swirls. I was hoping there'd be more um, contrast. Yeah. But it still looks good. I think we just have to I think so. Yeah, we did just pop it. There you there go. There you go. Nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened. You saw nothing. We saw nothing. The same color as your felt. Yeah, it is. They're best Oof. buddies now. Where'd, Where'd it go? go? <laughs> and since I am a huge sucker for, you know, special type Pokemon like Magikarp and Psyduck, of course I went with Psyduck. My little baby. I love him so much. He kind of looks a little weird, but Sika says he looks fine. I think he looks fine. Maybe it's because I spent two hours on him. Two hours on him and I wanted him to be so perfect, but you know. You, you know, got a little cross-eyed. He's tiny. Okay, look he's how small good. he is. You did good. So little. And similarly, he's gonna go on a stick and off we go with the resin. So here we are a couple of hours later. We have to say that we are really disappointed at one of them. I don't want to talk about it. It's really not looking good. You guys, your grains Super can see bubbly. it. It is extremely bubbly. We have no idea why because it was fairly clear. Yeah, and, and then we... it started bubbling, I guess, a couple hours after. Yeah, and it's so tacky that I can't remove any bubbles without, without trying. creating more. Yeah, but nothing stops us from trying. Maybe we'll need to do a take two. It was actually our first time making a pyramid and the first one in, in the series. So, and then also the second one that we made here, Torchic, has some bubbles that came out of nowhere. What is causing it? Do you I think have... it's the, I don't know, is there too many things in there? Is, is the resin like, whoa? No, it oh. shouldn't have been, whoa. Okay. For some reason. So, now that it's a little tacky, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of flakes around Torchic to give kind of the illusion of floating flames a little bit of everywhere. So we're going to put a few behind little Torchic on the sides and it's tacky enough that the glitter will not want to fall all the way to the bottom so we're just gonna kind of guide them. So basically we're just going to do this and push. Wow it's so tacky. It's very tacky. Oh my god. Yeah there we go. And similarly, similarly to Torchic I added some sparkles and glitters on the inside. And Psyduck is no different. We're going to go ahead and add some of the glitter and inserts just to make the background a little more interesting. And I also went ahead and made cabochons for Ironside and we're gonna add these inside so each one of them will have a little piece that you can look for. So here we are the next morning. Sika's not here, but I am absolutely hating the amount of bubbles on this Onyx one. So I want to unmold it. I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to have to restart because some bubbles, fine. Too many bubbles, mm. They're just making me so salty. 
All right, so let's see what it looks like unmolded. And this time I'm going to use a little bit more extreme measures. Oh, that is uncool. Like the pose is really neat. Everything about it is cool. Oh, okay. Good to know also. <laughs> Dang it. The toothpick shows. So I think it's a good thing that we're starting over. And the other good thing to know is that the planet is not sticking out on either side. So we're definitely on the right track. The other ones should look better, but this one... In the trash! <laughs> Bye bye And when I say I want to get rid of bubbles, I mean it because we're gonna use a vacuum chamber. So the idea behind this is I'm going to mix my resin and then put it into the mold, turn the vacuum chamber on. The reason you're not hearing me real time is because this thing is loud. And you can see that the bubbles of the resin are really coming to the surface and popping. And then we're going to let it rest and hopefully that's going to be the majority of the bubbles so that we can insert what we want. So here it is before, and here is our current one. So definitely significantly less bubbles. Let's put it aside and wait 12 hours. All right, so here we are two days later. As you can see, all of them have hardened. They look absolutely adorable just, just by looking like this. So the next part, which is super exciting, Sika is here by the way, say hi. Ha! <laughs> and we have our whole arsenal of glitters and things laid out on the table. And we're going to continue with the order that we started. So for Earth and Onyx, we really wanted to go with a kind of green treasury bottom with a lot of moss. And one of the things that you're going to see is very consistent across all four of them is we're going to be adding the gold foil underneath just to give it a little bit more interest. Now for Torchic, yes, there are some bubbles on that one, but I think it's going to be Okay, at least I hope so, because some bubbles, fine. Too many bubbles like we had previously with the Onyx was a no. I do not like it. And for that one, we're going with the idea of kind of lava at the bottom. So red, black foil, again with some gold. And we're adding orange kind of accent glitter. Flakes? Yeah, flakes. Glitter flakes. Oh my god, we can't talk. All right, that's very nice, Torchic. We're going to put you aside now. Weezing has this interesting theme because air and wind is symbolized by purple. This was a little interesting or I guess weird because we ended up going with purples, black stars, and again, gold treasures. But I think the overall theme of purple for wind is definitely suitable. And my little baby Psyduck, oh my god. This theme is probably one of my favorites. I'm going to somewhat recreate the environment that I had for my resin knife, which is very oceany and mystical, but this time we're also adding little seashells in there and of course treasures. So once my layer of resin is kind of hardened, I would say about 90%, I went ahead and added Perlex powders and then the resin mixed with black paint. All of them basically got the Perlex powders except for Psyduck. I really wanted the colors to stand out even though we have a black background. That's going to make them stand out a little bit more, give them a little bit of a more magical feel. But for Psyduck, again, I wanted to mimic that knife that I made at some point, and it's just so magical, so I decided not to put Parallax powders behind that one. 24 hours later. Basically, so far, this project has taken us quite a bit of time, but now it is time for unmolding! Oh, you... I knew it. You knew me. I knew I did not tell what you, you were doing. That I was going to echo. So I was like, I'm going to do it. You did do it. Because I am sometimes two steps ahead of you. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go in the order at least we think that we did them. So this should be the onyx. Yes, I see a tail. Okay, so let's unmold this way. You ready? Yes. I'm going to need your help. Okay, how okay. do I help you? Yeah, just pull. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh that's still the back. Oh. oh, wow, it actually turned out so oh nice. Oh, my God, that is I, so Did clear. you hear me? I said actually because I didn't expect it to turn out okay. You have no faith in me. I'm just so afraid of the bubbles. I know, but look it's at that. It's not bad. I really love the bottom. The only thing I would change is probably the direction that the onyx is at. He's a little crooked. Yeah, he's a but little crooked. it looks crooked. nice. Yeah, it's like dramatic. You're dramatic. I'm not dramatic. You're dramatic. Oh, no. <laughs> look, we can actually see it nicely too. And yeah, that's true. I absolutely love the Easter egg is really nicely in there. And I love the black part underneath. It makes it a lot more dramatic. It's like a dark green here. Yeah, that's the Perlex powder yeah. that I put. But yeah, uh, ooh, look at the rocks. Looks great. I love this. I and love the gold it. Oh my foil, God, the so treasures. Good. There's so much to look at. Oh, that's the treasure you put in there. Yeah. I was hoping it wouldn't um, move funny. Because knowing me, it would have been like, oh, I'm just going to float this way. And it's then like, we wouldn't see it uh, anymore. Bye. <laughs> 
Next one is Torchic. Torchic. I'm a little worried because this one had more Some bubbles. bubbles. Yeah. So not as much as the original one Onyx. that we have here, which was That's awful. Yeah, that was awful. But let's see how this one's going to look. All right, let's undress it the same way we. Oh, ooh. okay. <gasps> let's see. Oh, that is very bubbly. It's very bubbly, but it still looks pretty good. Yeah, it I almost... think we can redo this though. I don't know. Hang on. Okay. I feel like the bubbles in this case somewhat look like smoke. Just a little bit, yeah. So right? then it works out because it's like lava y, right? Yeah. It has like this smoke hazy feel to it. And we have our Iron Ironside logo right there. It blends in so nicely. Can you see it? Yeah. It's our oh, Easter eggs. Oh my god. And look, all the little flames of the glitter that I put in that are just kind of hovering on top. That we put in, excuse you. That I put in. I helped. Well, so then it's we. Yeah, you said I. Did I say I? Yes. That I put in? That I put in? Like, I don't matter anymore. Like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> you get me. So this one is still pretty cute. I'm a little disappointed at the bubbles, but again, it kind of looks like a haze from the fire. So it works out. Yeah, and the, f the flower petals in there really look good. Yeah, we did good. We did good. All right, I next love, one. I love triangles. I know, pyramids. these pyramids are really fun to make. If you grains ever have a chance to make those pyramids. Wait, talk and then unmold after. Who's this one again? Weezing. Weezing. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, ready? ready? Okay. <laughs> Got it? Pull. There. Oh mm. my god. Look, we really chose the right colors for all the Ironside logos too. That is really neat. He's a little crooked. Yeah. But that's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's a little challenging when you have them hanging upside down from popsicle sticks. But these planets look really, really neat. Look at that. We have our little treasures. We have So little... far it's come out better than I expected. Yeah. I, I was really afraid for the bubbles. I would put these in my house. I would too, actually. 100%. These are really pretty. These are probably the nicest resin pieces we've made so far. Honestly, I, I, agree. <laughs> I really agree. Because every time we've made them, it's always been... Bubble galore. And mishaps. And sometimes the design is not what we thought it was going to come out to be. Yeah, it looks so nice on our head and then it comes out really ugly. And mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. No. <laughs> But last but not least, Psyduck. Psyduck. We I have our know. water themed. Is that a space? Yes. Yeah. Oh, what's that? A glitter. Why is the glitter there? It fell. Oh, that's weird. Okay, <laughs> ready? Yeah. All right. Pull and. Ah, oh, that is cute. Look at that. So watery. That's so amazing. Yeah, and again, the Ironside logo is in the back. Oh, that one's a little more um, subtle because it's like a seashell. That is really cute. I love underwater effect for that one. And we still have our treasures. We have our little gold. We have our little stars. So mesmerizing. I know. And I think the gold flakes under each one of them it is... really helps it pop out. I yeah. Thought. And it makes a sense of continuity when you put all four of them next to each other, as yeah. you grains can see right now. Let us know in the comment section below which one of these is your, is favorite. your favorite. I like them all. I do too. But if I had to really choose... If I had to really choose it'd be Psyduck or Onyx I think. Yeah for me it would be Torchic and Weezing <laughs> the opposite. I'm curious let us grains know down below because this is really fun. I would do this again. I think we should. I really wish we had more space because of the planet size. We technically could have gone smaller but I think this size is nice otherwise the smaller one could have just technically disappeared. So if your grains prefer more of a centerpiece then you can make a smaller planet. There are so many options when making resin Pyramid. pyramids that we just decided to go with Pokemon because that is the computer that Ironside made for me. So, I mean, they made me my Pokemon baby. So I'm gonna make them Pokemon babies too. Now I'm curious to know, like, what pyramids would you guys want us to try and make? Because I think we should make more pyramids. You want to make more yeah. pyramids? Okay, give us a theme. The one that is most upvoted. One with the most thumbs up. Yes. We'll definitely consider that one. Okay. Okay? Yeah. That means we have no control over this. Nope. Okay. 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 <laughs> I bet you're wondering, what about the giveaway? I'm really happy that Ironside is doing a giveaway specifically for you grains. So whether you're into digital art and you want to make sure that your computer can handle the in-depth creativity that you're asking of it, or you're into graphic design and you want a smoother workflow, or hey, let's not kid ourselves, you want to do some gaming, Ironside is generously going to have this computer with these specs here, an Intel Core i5 processor, 16 gigs of memory, a two terabyte hard drive, 240 gigs of SSD, a GT X 1660 graphics card and let's not kid ourselves that's going to be a very smooth experience. So if you're interested in the giveaway all the information will be down below in the description box 
Also, be sure to follow Ironside on their socials listed down here as well as in the description box. And I really can't thank Ironside enough for my absolutely gorgeous computer. It truly is a work of art. All right, if, if you want to see me unboxing, let's go ahead and do that. And what I can tell you is that yes, it is to represent this channel. And yes, the only theme I know is Bulbasaur. I gonna open it. I can't wait. They've worked so hard on this computer that I am so excited to see what they put together. They're like, oh, oh artist, we have to be careful. <laughs> now it is way too massive to actually have on a desk. And customs did seem to open one side. Hopefully they didn't tinker with it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my baby. Oh my God. So after a lot of struggle <laughs> and help, because I'm only five foot, I had Pat and he helped me and it is now on my desk, fully covered in its glory. Oh my God, I am so nervous. I, I don't even want to remove this. I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut it because I'm not moving any other parts. Just to let you all know that I am so excited because I haven't had a proper gaming computer in years. <sighs> oh my gosh. So the theme for this is steampunk and Bulbasaur. <laughs> you know what, let's, let's just bring the other camera closer. And the first thing I see when I unbox it is that the weathering on this is beautiful. Oh my God, and that green. Er, make good. I feel like I'm undressing it very slowly. Oh my God. God, and even the logo is in a copper color. Like, I'm, I'm getting goosebumps here. I think I need to take the scissors a little more. <laughs> we're gonna cut it, but we're not gonna look like so. And like so. All right, so first front reveal. <gasps> I'm like freaking out right now. We have the vine design for Bulbasaur. The salt shake. I don't know what to say. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. That is way, <laughs> that is way cuter than I expected. Not that I didn't expect much because Ironside does make absolutely gorgeous computers, but what I had in my head and what it looks like now, it's above what I expected is what I'm trying to say. And we have a gorgeous texture here on Bulbasaur. Look at that. This is hand painted. The shading, the weathering, the dry brushing on all of this. Holy carp, holy carp. There's definitely a whole other side to this. So I'm gonna try and turn it. I, my desk is just way too small for this beast. Oh, oh my God, the gears. They even made an iron side. The logo is, oh my, mm, <laughs> details on this. Let me bring you closer. So there's quite a bit of reflective glare, but you greens will see the actual 360 and, and more detail that they've put together because my space is really tiny. But here we have the Ironside logo with the cogwheel. And then down here, you can see all the different colors. We have the minty color to go with the case. And then we have rust and weathering. Oh my God, and all the different cogwheels are different shapes. That's a lot of work. Let's see the inside. Before we go on the inside, I just want to say how much I admire continuity in the pattern, despite the fact that this opens. Look at that, spot on. Oh my god, again, the, the fact that it color shifts from a gorgeous copper color to this deep green, and we still have all this weathering. Like, I haven't seen it turned on yet. Like, <laughs> I'm very little now. I'm down here. And let's go ahead and, oh my god copper and the inside with all the copper pipes all over. like this is probably the cleanest i've ever seen the inside of a computer that belongs to me now and we get even more cogwheels on the inside and that burst pipe on the inside is genius this is beautiful and it has my name this is honestly amazing never did i think in all my years oh my god Oh my gosh. Never did I think that by being here, being silly and having fun with you grains, that I would be blessed with such amazing gifts. 
And just the amount of time and effort, oh my god. Just the amount of time and effort that went into something like this to customize it. And even when you grains send me things and you customize it, and I know that you've put your heart and soul just to see me smile. And look, now I'm crying. You know what, let's turn this bad boy on onto the gaming section of the channel. <laughs> I didn't want to get too sappy, but yeah, know that I, I am very sappy and I really do appreciate everything that is because of our community. So yeah, that's, that's all I could say. Remember, if you want to find Sika, you can find her on Instagram at nerdysister underscore Sika. And you can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, a little bit of everywhere because I be that way. And if you want to watch more resin videos, make sure you check up here. And if you want to check the oh. cash or trash, Make sure you check down here. And if you're into gaming, definitely check out my gaming channel. Also linked down below. I'm just everywhere. You're everywhere. <laughs> I'm everywhere. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.